Hey everybody, we are back for one final, I think ever, 1 to 80 for faux Newmans. I have now hit all the colors that I'm looking to do, and I didn't really have a reason to do Sky ID faux Newman, but now I have a reason to have a Sky Force, I guess, technically, with the changes in the items. So let's go ahead and make our newest monstrosity. Let's go, chat. Yeah, now I now I should have everything. I don't have an orange phonumen, but I do have an orange force. I don't I have literally no forces that are sky. Okay, for for Hellcleave, we'll do the the one tab and see where it leaves us. Oh, that's that is a character face. <laughs> Let's go to face. So we have the Wall Luigi. We got kind of the innocent face. We got the star cheek. We got the blood eyes, and we got the default big green eyes. One thing that always makes it a little more complicated is that skin color changes at two sometimes. So like if we make them darker, for example. Yeah, like the color of the tattoo changes. We have certain colors that we like. I figured I'd show that off. I'll just show these off. Blood eyes are innocent. So we have the blood eyes currently. Leave it on blood eyes. This is not bad. But it feels like we've seen things when we choose this. Let's see what other hairstyles there are. Sadly, we can't see the blood eyes behind the goofy goggles. Crying after the, the Dorfon change? Yeah, you're right. I was gonna say, we can still see the blood through the sunglasses. There you go. We got some spiky hair. Let's rotate a little bit the camera. We got the, the twin peak hat. Don't really get the ponytail. We got the classic fro. Got a more normal looking hair style. Got the cool glasses. We got the goofy pom-poms. I like that the pom-poms aren't even circular. They're just like literally you can see the square of the textures. Something. That one's the emo hair. Which one is that? Is it this one? Chat us use numbers. I, I I don't always follow descriptions. I'm assuming this one. Got kind of the long lock in the in the front. So that was number five. Row is number seven. Number eight is the normal one. We got the cool glasses on nine and the pom pom on ten. I can leave it on five, maybe, I'm guessing. I'm curious how our colors look. Let, let's go through colors, then we'll figure out his hair. So we're start so this is number one, pretty standard colors. So row one, number one. Number two, number three, number four. I'll tilt the hat slightly so we can get more colors. Number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine. So keep in mind we're making a Sky ID character if you want the outfit to match. Otherwise, do whatever you want, whatever your heart desires. Now we're in row two. So row two, number one, number two, number three. Number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine. I think Chad has used a couple of these before. I recognize the, uh, I think we used this for Valentine. Or Hot Stuff, one of those characters. We haven't used them in a while. Eventually it'll be free. Six row two, seems unanimous. So I'm assuming hair color or skin color is fine because we get the blood eyes. Uh, how are we feeling about the hair, chat? What color is our hair? Right now it's like very bright green. I can play with the red a little. If chat wants to see.
Oh man, that's purple. It's quite a color. Like around there. It almost matches the colors of her things. I'd have to darken it slightly. I wanted to match a little more. It's somewhere in there. Like a pretty sharp blue. So if we wanted our hair to match the outfit, it's like kind of close. Like not the purest of blues. Let's leave it here. Alright, so we got red eyes, we got blue hair. We're gonna say close enough. So what are we calling our Sky Mage? Who's very sad about the changes to Dwarf Ons. <laughs> oh, actually, before we do that, I'm sorry, proportions. So currently he's as short as he can go. You can make him super tall. And he looks kind of angsty teen. Like it goes from young kid to angsty teen. But that's that's the height scale. <laughs> so you have to let me know in the height scale where you want it. And we'll then we'll slide it along here. So we can have him like his arms a little bulkier. Ultra lanky. Oh he could oh there there's a static thick size, I think. He could be ridiculously skinny. I think that's as skinny as I could go. Right here. So if you want him tall, he, he now looks very grumpy. <laughs> he is just not pleased to exist. So there we go. So what are we going to call the angsty uh, Phonumen? So I'm gonna quickly make a game, consume 99 my materials, put some in the bank, consume another 51 or whatever. Laugh the ears and he can fly, says Calvisha. Welcome, Calvisha. There you go, you get to make your mark. What? Lincoln Park? Oh no, Lincoln Park? Wow, that's... Whew. I mean, we're, it's up there with calling him Razor. It's very edgy. Are we going with Lincoln Park chat? Am I gonna have to break out break out the Lincoln Park? Look at he's running towards the screen. He wants you chat. He's definitely fitting the sky theme so far. Hot topic? Oh, that's a good one too. What is chat thinking? I need I need somebody to agree with one of the names. Hot topic. Ooh. Characters gonna fit? Oh, only two more. Alright, uh, we're gonna go back to Lincoln Park. We have a concession. I'm assuming that's how you spell it. I'll be honest with you, I'm actually not sure. Let's find out. I know it's not spelled the normal way. Survey says yes, that is how you spell it. I was going to say, I'm assuming it was a T-O-L-N. Okay, so we have Lincoln Park, of course. Let's see what his default ID is. That is so close, chat. That is so close. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> it's very tempting to keep him like that. I'm not going to lie. That is actually really funny. I know, that was really close. I, I would have considered that acceptable. I would consider that a name win normally. Because, I mean, you do want a blue ID for Newman, right? But we're doing Sky ID, sadly. Odd Sec ID, Sky ID. So let me go consume a whole bunch of materials and then we'll get started. So, junk, junk, junk. Doesn't matter. I really wish it shared your commands across characters, or you had an option to do it. Let's get some items in here while we can. One, two, three, four. One, one, two, three. There's the frame. Yeah, the mag will go unloved. Here we 
we go. Let's power up, chat. Send Lincoln Park your best. He will become a god. The sad part is I could probably just one-shot everything already with this much MST. We just need to pick out one or two more things, and then we're good to go. Uh, I probably want Magical Peace. And we'll need the Arrest Wand. I will eat whatever I can now to get it out of the bank. And we'll learn the, less, the rest later. And please. need one more thing, I think, before we continue further. Might not be the right level for it. I am not. It's fine, we can hold on to it. Alright, so we're gonna swap characters just to get the rest of our mind material. We should be good to go. So going forward, if we ever play again, I'll probably bring in a blue Ponoman. We can try standard leveling and potentially compare that in the future. But while we're power leveling, we might as well get this out of the way. Yeah, doing a little dance waiting for me in the lobby. We should have all the mine materials on us, which is good. We could probably convert some of those photon drops into something else when I get a chance later. I needed E1. Did I put in 99. Oh no, I need I need 41, I'm sorry. 41. I just need to make sure my luck materials are in here. I'm missing one luck material. Seriously? It's so sad. I'm lost. <laughs> but not on the character that matters. Off by one luck. How did that happen? Here we go. I did it. So we're gonna eat the 10 luck and then we'll use the rest of our mine materials here. I could just put an extra 10 in here, I don't think it really matters. Right, so let's go back to right character. I'll host the game in episode 4, other people could join in. Then we're gonna do just probably just beyond the horizon. Because if none of us are blue ID, it doesn't really matter what the drops are. Like, the most we're losing out on early on is ad slots. Like, whatever. Unfortunately, this should also recover my TP. Which is also another reason I would need to leave anyway if I was doing this. Unfortunately, I should not be in this difficulty for very long. We got the quadruple heavenly minds, which we're gonna re replace with our adups once we're done learning. Would they put a spear on a spread needle? Oh, oh, that's. Hmm. I'm sure they have buyer's remorse. That is really not good. I hurt the soul. Ooh. Big yike. I'm gonna put 10 luck materials on, and the rest will be mine materials. So this should push us to the rest of the way to learning everything. At least they can lock like a boss, maybe. You can see my damage should be pretty insane. It's back. I just need my remaining techniques, which I should be able to learn. Ooh, I can't use my Rebarta yet. That's awkward. Damn, this character powering up to the next level. Alright, what do I need? Gafoe. I don't have a Resond. It's too high level. Probably Resta. Probably all I need. For now, I can switch into Adapts. B. 
Vita one. I was gonna say, who's missing? I'll leave this in my inventory for now. I would think of it. one, two, three, four. This should be nine, zero. Let's say this is gonna be five. Six, seven, eight? Forget if that's correct. I'll find out very quickly, though. There we go. So let me be on the horizon. Oops, I didn't get gold. Time loss. Sword. I should learn everything that I need here. Should cover me for my runs. I have triple adepts, so I should basically never run out of TP. <laughs> While also having decently high magic resist. As long as people have money, it should be very quick. Early on, it's actually faster for me to resolve than it is to cast other spells. There we go. Let's find out if I did my spells correctly. Oh, I can't. Oh no, chat not getting Masetta. Chat trolling. Yeah, we have a super rappy mag. Once we hit level 12, we could put the Foe Emerge on, which should be pretty fast. I can't quite wear a magical piece the way it is. I might actually do... Can't equip until the whole team is here. I think I'm actually gonna do two Heavenly Minds just to make sure I can magical piece. I think that's actually more important. And as you can see, we're averaging insane XP a second. <laughs> this quest is busted. We'll try to learn new techniques once we're done with this. You see the Gafoe is just absolutely melting everything. They barely have to do anything. This is so busted. I can almost wear Gafoe merge, which will let me one shot. Not gonna bother healing. Yeah, you can see like a very big difference compared to the run we did earlier, and I'm killing everything. K channel and Discord are such trolls. Oh no, what happened? Holy, look at this. It's trying to keep up with my level ups. I think it's actually stacking my level ups. Poor game, it's trying really hard. So I don't think I could survive Dwarf on, but plus side, I think I kill everything. So I just have to eventually wear Heavenly HP, and then I'm good. I'm just hoping enough Dwarf on Gafoe stacks will just murder it instantly. Yeah, I have Gafoe merge on now. More damage, chat. I needed more damage. <laughs> There we go. Look at that damage. Mm. Oh no, Photon Sapphire. That's brutal. Yeah, that's very trolly. I think my 5 and 8 are misplaced. Have to move them later. Welcome, Murphy. 
I don't imagine this will take very long, chat. Some something tells me the the journey to 80 will be much faster here than the other set of quests. Something tells me. Oh, we're already on the next phase. Gross. I love that I out-leveled somebody already. I'm so sorry, this character levels so quick. Now this is where chat will save me some time. Otherwise I'm just gonna go pew pew! Death fireballs everywhere. Need to learn Rifoe at some point. Let's check to see if I can learn our text yet. Okay. That's good. Yeah, that is not correct. I messed something up. I think everything needs to go over by one. When I get a chance, I'll try to fix it. Everything is off by one that's so awkward. This should be this, then it should be six. Seven, eight. Maybe this will fix it? Yes. Get injured. That's the time. Yeah, there we go. That feels better. Now I just need Rifoe learned on our list. We'll fix that next time we go back. Already level 19. What a character. See, if I had Rifoe, I could just kill like full screen like this, but I can use Resond. A similar effect. I just need to be able to hit something at a distance quickly. Hope you're doing well, Murphy. Welcome back for more. I'm almost level 20. We're gonna wait until everybody hits level 20. Nice, we just hit level 20. That took like literally no time. What a night and day difference, Shadow of Levels. Just need to get a little more XP here. I guess it doesn't really matter, as long as I know what the buttons are. Good. Hit level 21. There we go, let's quit. And we're out. Let's see how long that took. Hearing something about knowing how it will affect the value is an entirely different problem. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. That took 12 minutes. Remember before how we were saying, Chad, we were going basically even in minutes in our other run? Yeah, this is the power of episode 4. We, this isn't even Cookie Quest, so you just do this. This quest is dumb. What do you need? A force and somebody with eventually to get demons. <laughs> it's the only requirement. Demon is highly recommended, or just have somebody with insane DPS. Just to deal with Gerda Blue. How Cleve's admitting to flipping. Quick, get him! Like, we need to even finish the quest. Like, it's just it's insane how much XP that was. Oh, man. Now I could just switch to Adipts if I want. Probably want one more Adipt. Keep Heavenly Mind on for damage. Like, I didn't bother putting a basic attack at all on my panel. I'm like, listen, if I'm swinging, I'm losing. Hmm. Beautiful kills per second. Hmm. 
here come the levels. Uh oh. No, I got bodied. Damn, chat didn't protect me. GG. Rip. I gotta go again. I got I got singled out hard there. He just walked up slowly and killed me. Alright, so to avoid dying. Let's go back to the share bank real quick. Sadly a time loss. I need some HP units. One, two, three. Let's wear one. Try to get away with two. Then I should be good. I will probably deban myself to avoid crit kills. This should put me put me at a kill range. There we go. Take two. We're learning all the deep trade secrets of PSO. There we go. Mash that button. Since team needs to help with fears, let's buff them. Much smoother. I should be at a kill range with a little touch of d -bam. Yeah, there we go. See, I didn't die instantly. That did 130. So I would have barely lived with d -band. I would have been at 147. I would have been at 10 HP. But right, speaking of which, which I'm trying too hard. Oh, I gotta heal myself now. So sad. Protect me, chat. <laughs> I will spam the Gapoe frame perfectly for you. I promise you it'll be fast. Hmm, frame perfect Gapoe. I'm gonna think of beauty, chat. Oh gosh, it's gonna hit me. Oh, oh. So close. I was leveling a bit slower than I was expecting by about 20 minutes. Yeah, we might do another run. If you're around tomorrow, Murphy, in the morning. I think uh, Marco was looking to level. Might do one more BAFTA leveling. I mean, if this one goes really fast, I would, might consider doing it again. But obviously, I would be using a fully level character. And I guess that would be a good comparison video for people that want to see. Like, what if you're just phone at 180 or whatever? Such fast XP. The best part is I'm just getting slightly more damage every fireball. I hit. Rip. Buy some buffs. Yeah, with frame perfect Kapoe, we get more stacks out. As I have Gapoe Merge on and Magical Piece, the damage we output is actually broken. Where is this Buddha that I can't hit it? Can someone please kill this? I, I don't know what it's doing. It's not approaching me and it's not dying. It should be weak to me. There we go. I'm about to level up again. I'm getting a little further out of Dwarf on kill range with every level, which is nice. What a thing of beauty chat. Yeah, people are willing to lose Vesetta. It's really hard to compete with how much XP this gives. I got hit, rip. Yeah, 
gonna say, I'll occasionally try to buff chat, but otherwise healing is mostly on your own for now. There we go. Half health thing the dwarf on helps a lot. Managed to get mag blast. Leave me alone. So 12 more levels and we're already out of this. It'll be very interesting. The so debuff. Oh. Sorry to hear that, Murphy. Do you get more rest if you need it? Right now we're just blowing through some power levels, but I want chat to see the difference. This one, I this one I consider. I don't know if it's the best quest for XP, but it's really close. Aside from Cookie Quest, of course. Cookie's broken. Sorry to hear that, Murphy. These guys. Like actually exploding. Gorfon spawning in with no HP. Nice. Fine. Almost level 30. And level 30. Oh, I got run over. Fortunately, though. Broad Heavenly HP. Right, so if he charges me, he should just die instantly. So I'm not really worried about Dorfon at that point. Put them closer to kill range for the group. Unlock the zoos. Dorfon almost did something. Right. Rare Rathi. Somewhere in this massacre of fireballs. That's a lot of bonus XP. Oh no! We lost a member. We should reset. Member down. Reset. Okay, time check. So we're basically level 30. How many real time minutes did it take in game to get to that point? 21. Yeah, that seems fair. So now we have, so instead of going even, which is what CCC was doing uh, by the time we got to level 40, we are beating it by like a solid 10 minutes, and that's with some quest resets. So it is very bonkers. why they removed that Mass Attack 4B. Four... What do you mean? Yeah, I know there's a Slash Lobby, Cleo. I do it all the time. I wanted to see the, the real time. What do, you, what do you mean 4B? Do you mean... I don't... Was that a massive Attack quest that they removed? I mean, 4B still exists. Yeah, I mean, it existed last year. I don't know about years ago. Yeah, I don't think that was a 4B. Now, do you remember what the name of the quest was where you're in desert most of the time? There were warps around. I didn't think that was a massive attack. M-A-S. Thank you. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think it was a B. Yeah, that makes sense. Thank you. Welcome, definitely not Pigeon. Our leveling is real. Let's buff the chat. Boom. Boom. On the other person. Of course you have buffs. Back to Kapoe spam. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. I like that I was face down on the floor and could probably still kill that entire wave. Yeah, that seems fair. Perfectly normal, chat. Listen. We're leveling the way the game 
intends you to? Question mark. I mean, if you thought this quest was dumb, did you, have you seen the cookie quest? That is like actually completely broken experience. I think we were averaging, what was it, chat? 600 XP a second. So even with the 200% XP boost of the event, it still did not come close to the cookie quest, which you can still do today. I still feel like doing it right now. Cookies aren't free though. I'm gonna say, then I push up my glasses and I go, well, Murphy, you have to pay to get in the quest. <laughs> this quest isn't free either. Yeah, Misetta is such a barrier in this game, I know. During Halloween they are? Yeah, true. Goodbye, Zeus. Wait, where is the zoo? You know what? I'm gonna grant you. Get out of here. Free <laughs> if you can complete it. True. If you manage to get to the, the one desert room, it pays for itself. And obviously if you beat it, you get more. So much damage. No, it's definitely not expensive, for sure. I mean, we saw in our power leveling journeys, we picked up 120,000 just from Meseta. We didn't even hand in any quests. So it's not unreasonable to get to that point. But then again, it is enhanced money drops. How dare they smack me? Listen, I want my Kofoe stacks to get going. Get out of my face. Uh, yeah, I think it was about 16 cookies, if I remember correctly. Chat might have the exact number from last time. He synced in the spawn first wave. Oh, uh, okay, makes sense. He's saying too strong, please nerf. Assuming I survived Orphan. Find out, I guess. So much Kapoe. I mean, we can talk about anything you want, chat. I'm just letting you know, this is a, a one-button game right now. Like, I'm just hitting Kapoe. Oh, I gotta heal. Hold on, I was minorly inconvenienced. Okay, there we go. So... so Nothing's really going to compete with this for vanilla. The only thing that comes kind of close, I keep hearing it, but I've not seen it in practice. I think it requires everybody to have really strong gear to do it, but doing the uh, new mop-up Operation 3, I think that quest is kind of hard to do with only one force, unless the other people are, like, hit it out of their minds. But I feel like the, the, the gear requirement is kind of insane. This one has kind of a gear requirement, like... I am using a magical piece to speed it up. I'm using a Kofoe merge. I'm at max materials. That's not something that you could just do, per se, with like a blank character. But if you play with like two forces, then it's just kind of like, oh. And they just have one person, your friendly resident uh, demon user, then it's all good. Yeah, I would like to see a four person force. The problem is I don't really want to make another force after this. I wouldn't mind seeing it, but I don't really want to level another one. I have legit no use for them. Unless I really wanted that orange ID Bonuman. And then I would just delete the character, because I wouldn't need him. It would feel kind of a waste. He almost stomped me to death. Then I leveled. Complete the rainbow. I'm not even sure where he would go. I mean, I guess... I guess he would go into bank 8 as, like, my orange slot one. Is there an ID with the Phonuman that I haven't done? I need to think about this. Definitely not orange. I don't know if I have a green ID Phonuman. Maybe I'm missing green? I have a Fulmar, who's good enough, and it doesn't matter. Fulmar that's probably never gonna get any use. Um... I mean, if you really think you're never gonna use him again... Oh, I got double hit, that sucked. GG. Not much I could do about that, sadly. Double Dorfon says no. 
<laughs> so what I've learned is I need to take one step from where I was standing to knock a double hit. So sad. Alright, let's take a look in real time. Where are we at with real time? 28 minutes to 35? Pretty good. So we'll switch over to... What another heavenly... I guess this... I guess another heavenly would have made me live. Yeah, Fulmar is one of those characters I honestly did not like until I got Red Ring. I'm gonna be real with you, like, I didn't even like him at, like, 160. Yeah, you, you have to commit with him, sadly. Do hard mode, there we go. Yeah, I mean, is, is he, like, taking up one of your use slots? I do think Fomar is fun, but it's like, what did I need to make him fun? I needed a hit Excalibur, Red Ring, uh, 50 hit bringers, uh, sometimes 13. Astron Bell. Oh, that's true. I do like the 50 hit Astron Bell on him. But again, he's kind of like, I call him like a luxury character. Like, you need so many items for him to get started, it's kind of crazy. And he also needs a high level to get started, which also sucks. So unless you feel like leveling with Kapoe Spam, and he feels just kind of like worse, uh, Phonuman. And then eventually you're like, hey, my ATP matters. And until then, it's like, oh, do I not have 800 ATP? Oh, I'm useless. So is my accuracy not max? I'm useless. <laughs> not hitting anything. Yeah, the the raw accuracy of Excalibur actually helps a lot. Like, it, it is deceptively high base accuracy compared to other weapons. Yeah, but, like, it... it I would say, like, if you're playing him without, like, oh, I got injured, that's not good. If you're playing him without, like, a Foe Merge and everything else, he can feel like he just doesn't do enough damage. Whereas, like, when you have everything, he just feels fine. I never felt, like, overpowered with him in Tex. I always just kind of viewed it as I need to cast one more time to kill compared to Foe most of the time. Yeah. So it's like, until you have, like, all those, like, wonderful items, it just kind of feels, eh. But there is, like, a light at the end of the tunnel, at least, with the character. It just takes a while to get there. I don't think he, like, super benefits from challenge mode weapons, because his accuracy is so trash. And you'd have to be able to special cancel whatever you give him. Whether it's, like, demon cards or whatever. Because he is not landing base hits. <laughs> he, he is not the character you would be using demon mechs on. Unless you got some super crazy stuff going on. Like, listen, I'm always going to be able to special cancel my mech gun. I have impeccable positioning at all times. I'll be like, be my guest. Yeah, he just can't land it. Nice, got the level up. Yeah, it's like you'd, you'd have to have like a very specific subset of weapons like and I do nonsense with it Like even things like where they're like, oh, you know, potentially you get recommended if you look in the wiki Just use Guardiana and it's like, oh my gosh, the hit percentage you need for Guardiana to be actually useful is so high on Fomar <laughs> Yeah, just like holy like, oh, I'm sorry. Was this not a 60 hit Guardiana? <sighs> Damn useless. Like wait, what? <laughs> Can you imagine just throwing away a core item? It's like, oh, it only is 60? It's not good enough. You're remaking him? I mean, as I said before, I... I it, it's, a, it's a luxury character. I don't know if I would get rid of him, per se. Like, he's not gonna be ever the first person you get out, unless you're, like, really hardcore dedicated. But I feel like a lot of characters are like that. Like, if you play Humar, leave Fomar there. I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> it's like, I'm like, at least I feel like Fomar has a point where uh, he'll he'll carry something. I don't have that belief in Humar.
Ah, I'm gonna mod in. I'm gonna put one more heavenly HP on to hopefully avoid getting double stacked. Yeah, I mean, it's not something you're gonna instantly do. I got kind of lucky with Hucast. I think all my best drops were uh, either trade or I literally just picked them up in this event. Or it was Christmas event last year. Like, I feel like he's another character where if you don't have certain items, he feels kind of bad, even though he's extremely good. But I feel like his payoff is more than Fomar currently. I think both of them scale very well with hit percentage. But I feel like, you know, if you get like an LNK combat, if it doesn't have X hit, it's not great in multiplayer versus falls. And you feel like you're kind of missing something with the character. Or like, if you don't have Twin Blaze, it feels kind of awkward with him. But the other difference is, is that if you get even like one of the luxury items, he feels like a completely different character. Where Fomar, it takes like a lot more to get to the same point. All my equipment is in Ranger gear. I mean, you just hunt Hunter gear. Or Force. I, I don't know what to tell you on that one. Just do different hunts. Yeah, Ranger gear, like, Ranger wall, you, you don't have to do, like, basically anything for. Frozen shooters are cheap. Heaven striker, all zeroed. Because you have such high accuracy, you don't need it to be, like, all that great to be useful. Like, getting them started is definitely easy. But yeah, going for, like, a pure self-found, like, ooh. Trying to get through Hue cast without a 50-hit charge, or, or charge Vulcan. Ooh. Y you feel it a little. Been a ruthless merchant at this point. I was gonna say, I don't think I've really done a lot of trading. Mostly Hellcleave. I mostly just traded with Hellcleave. Like, here, Hellcleave. <laughs> we'll, we'll work out deals. But I think it's time for me to graduate and start using charge weapons. Or not charge, challenge weapons a bit more. Right, so that wouldn't... Actually, I think that will kill me. Or maybe it won't. It did too. Uh, I'm getting kind of stacked damage again. Please stop. Get dwarf on. I might actually run out of TP. Annoying. Fortunately, we transitioned areas. Yeah, needing to wear a double heavenly there kind of sucks. Yeah, I mean, it just comes with doing runs. I mean, I think for like the first two years I had the account, I don't think my gear was any good at all. I didn't even have a Heaven Striker until streaming. That remembers that. I actually did not own one prior to streaming. Yeah, the, the, big, the anniversary event is like a big way to do it. That's why we've been doing so many different hunts. Like, we've been taking little lists of- or at least I've been taking lists of names. And I'm like, okay, what are you hunting for? And for the most part, I think we've helped people get a lot of it. Like, maybe not, like, Ubers on the list, but, like, in terms of, like, V101, V801, LNK Combat, 13s, you know, Decent Disco Brave Bands, OK Jaya's. Like, we've gotten all those to drop at this point. Yeah, so it's just kind of, like, we'll do certain combinations of things. Sadly, the only thing I think we're missing is like Vivian and like a good Heaven Striker. But honestly, like we've given people Galatines, Excals. Like, should be doing more Vivian and RM. I've had no luck with that. Maybe on stream later, we'll try it again. Crimson Tear got a gold last night. Oh no, don't tell Tiggy. Tiggy, avert your eyes. Also, uh, oh, we need one more level. Be like, Tiggy, no. I know, but don't remind him. <laughs> How'd the CCC go? Uh, it was slower than expected. Like, I knew it was gonna be a little slower. I was hoping the 200% XP would catch it up a bit. But yeah, this, this, this is the pace I was expecting. Okay, everybody is leveled. Oh no, there's still 39 in here. Damn. Oh, now we can leave. Slash, lobby. 
just isn't meant to be. I'm so sorry, Tiki. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a game in very hard. Let the power leveling commence. Fast was 40, uh, less than 40. It goes super fast. Considering we were nine minutes ahead and we did over 10 minutes of uh, designing the character, I think we're fine. I'll do a time check after this though. Because last time we time checked around 45 anyway. Although, at the rate I'm about to level, should probably be closer to 46. Yeah. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. trying to think of anything else crazy dropped. I mean, we've helped people get red rings. I guess we haven't got a parasitic gene flow during the event, I guess. It's like one of the few rares we haven't seen. That's about it. And I, I don't think I play like a ton of ton. Like I played a lot more when I was on vacation, don't get me wrong, but like I'm averaging every five days is like twelve hours? Like that's not a lot. And weekends of course. Oh you finally got the fifty hit Yashmenikov? Nice. That I want to go for. I guess Yashminikov is my last line I want to do. Vivian, Yashminikov. About it. Oh, 50 machine. Oh, 50 machine. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I saw 50. It was like, oh, wow. Could have been dark. Oh, no. Mm, so now we're coming into the point where having more than one force would help, or you just have so much damage, it doesn't matter. So most enemies here are hellable. You can see like a lot of them have like 60 EDK. But honestly, like if people just wanted to assist. Maybe so in my all my runs are like one minute off the group. Nice. Oops. My spells is not correct, but that's fine. Yeah, I don't really want to do Spaceship. Spaceship is one of those ones I'm not excited to do. It's technically really good during the event, because you could get a uh, Gurren and Daylight Scar, but I mean, chat's all. I already got it from Yellow ID. I've technically gotten two Daylight Scars already. Okay, I need to step away for two minutes. That's good, because we'll uh, do a quick time check, and then when you're ready, we'll continue. I haven't seen LK drop yet, I want to. Oh, sorry, help leave. Yeah, we're doing a lot of uh, Viridian TTF, and we also did uh, something else for Viridian. We, we got a few of those to drop already on stream. Yeah, I could technically host more Viridian TTF to get those to appear. It's like, it's not like crazy difficult to like cycle in existing runs and get something out of it. Yeah, I got a, I got a 30 hit LNK. I'm like, I, I know, <laughs> I, I was like, I, I'm gonna say, I know I got it because I did not have it prior to this year. Not even prior to this event. But like, once you get those kinds of things, then it's like, oh. Yeah, exactly. Who casts all? I was like, yo, oh, I can, I know what to do against falls now. I, I lose, I save 10, not 10 minutes. I save two minutes fighting falls without just sit, sitting there like an idiot without being able to do anything. Uh, I think he spams his faux Newman for mines for help for you. I usually see him host as a faux Newman. But I'm not sure if it changes in solo play or not. Oh, Cleave will clarify. Nice level up. Yep, Phone Newman. 
Most things in mines are weak to fire. So if you had a solid, let's say, let's say a higher level Fomar, you would be able to defeat everything in the mines and then probably excal the uh, Barans out of existence. You can also do yellow for lame, true. I guess we could do more lame hunts. We did a lot of uh, desert event hunts with uh, Goron Detonator. We did get rewarded. I don't think I picked up one personally, but I, I think a couple people playing with us got them that way. We tried to get a uh, lame to Argent from one of the episode 4... Oh, stop hitting me. From one of the episode 4 bosses, but it didn't work out. Yeah, Orange is like... You're gonna play him in episode 4, and then you will probably enjoy him a bit more. Like, if you want to get a better Slicer of Fanatic, which is also kind of good for Rangers, you can pick it up easy there. He also has the episode for uh, Conjure Your Drop for Lame to Argent. But, like, Orange is still good. That's why, in theory, I can make a Orange one here. In fact, I think the, the slot I used was probably supposed to be Orange, now that I think about it. Oops. Oh well. It is what it is. I think I was doing Colors of Fire, and I messed up. Blue's technically a Color of Fire, but... Oh, somebody died. Time to quit out. Yeah, I think I messed it up. I think I wasn't thinking, because I'm tired. Already muddling words, so I know I'm very tired. I think I had white... Yeah, red, pink... Yeah, I think that was supposed to be orange. Oops. Oh well. Yeah, you can see, like, our previous time chat. Like, if you're curious what Cookie Quest does, an hour 44 is 82. So, 44, he's at 45. I mean, blue kind of still fits with fire. I just wouldn't have done it in this order. Oh well. Yeah, it has a solid mind, so if you want to do the Lost Soul Blade there, it's not bad. I'll quit out and wait for Chris to come back. Oh, oops, I think that was supposed to be for my Orange Force. But then again, I never plan to make a Sky ID, so whatever. Worst thing that happens is I just get rid of him in the future. We have a Phone World that's Orange currently. Yeah, oops. Oh well. <laughs> well, I guess if I wanted to level another Force 1 to 80, I could just remake Lincoln Park on another slot. Yeah, Fomar with a high hit Galatine is technically a monster. You gotta hunt for those. Yeah, you can see, like, these are the Cookie Quest characters. Like, listen. They, they don't care about playtime. Once Chris is back, we'll get started. Make it take a drink. thing is though like I don't really like doing country hunts so like I see why I was holding off on orange it's really good for things like slicer fanatic and it has really good value if you do like the full clear and that's why sometimes we play phone new world there but I don't know I think I just don't enjoy the hunt as much even though it is really good Yeah, I feel a little sad that this character is the wrong ID here, but whatever. I guess in the future I could just delete Lincoln Park and move him somewhere. 
At least he should be easy enough to make, right? I could just rewatch the video if I really need to move him. I give you... You want Hunt since Mindless. Oh, yeah, yeah, for Orange ID. But, like... I think for orange, I probably still... I mean, if I was doing cycle one hunts, this is Gibbles. I don't think I want to play a force into Gibbles. Yeah, I just don't enjoy rare monster hunts. I, I actually don't... I think there's so much value in, like, the start to finish of episode four that it doesn't bother me as much for orange ID. But yeah, I, I don't like doing Condryu. Like, I don't like doing Pod anymore at this point. I, I played it to death. I'm tired of just not getting caught you. Oh, Chris is back. Yeah, I, and then I didn't really enjoy Purple Mill Lily. Like, I already declared at the beginning of the event I didn't really want to do it. Let's go ahead and continue. I think I can switch to double Adept in the beginning and then add a Heavenly HP mid-run. So technically during this time, like, the anniversary event, if you're hunting for rare monsters, this is the time, because this is one of the few times you could do rare chance plus rare monster, which doesn't really happen outside of rare... Well, outside of uh, special events. Yeah, I'm not interested in kind of the mindless grind. I don't even like playing the same quest for more than like two hours. I'm like, I would not want to commit to something that doesn't feel rewarding. Oh boy, that Babuda is coming to hunt me down. Uh, nothing falls for me in purple caves. I'm like, back foul beckoner, I don't need you. Yeah, like, in terms of mega rares, I guess I've gotten Handgun, Mila, Lava's Cannon, Sintesta. It's like, I have some Ubers, technically. Technically, Handgun, Mila twice. But, like, I didn't purposely go for them. They were just kind of the... Uh, you know, I'm playing white ID, and you just get random value for no reason. Yeah, I don't even grind TTF all day. My my limit is, like, again, about two hours. RT is a bit longer, so that it's, like, sometimes five runs. Down. That's so sad. Getting bullied. Help. There we go. Back to bullying the enemy. Yeah, for me, like, I'll do, like, the Seal J Sword hunts for chat, but, like, do I do that in my off time? No. Not interested. I think TTF to love my character is back. Yeah, I'm just like, uh eh. It's okay. I like the aging power. Like, I don't mind doing TTF to say, like, oh, I just got a really big purchase. Like, how much time did that save me in a run? Like, I'll do that kind of stuff. Please stop critting me. Can please. I need to fix the music. Music gave up on me. That was almost really bad. I'm getting bullied by rapping. Help. Leave me alone. Yeah, I think the problem is more like RT. I, some of the quests I have to play characters, I just don't enjoy playing into it. Due to like ID things. And, you know, maybe that'll inspire me to play like more IDs into it. Like now I have a pink ID, Ranger, in case I want to do uh, Vivian and Rambling May. Playing that class. Mm -hmm. 
man, I keep getting crit. Lock it off, enemies. Fearing the Dark on Master Raven, nice. The commitment. Yeah, I mean I haven't even speared anything. I definitely have PDs for it. You know, I'm not I'm not going in and like trading forums and doing crazy stuff. I mostly give away low low level stuff, so like I'm not making like a profit there or anything. So a lot of it is just pure PDs. So I have enough that I could probably get like five or six challenge mode weapons if I want at this point. And still have a couple spheres. So I'm kind of at that point where I'm like... Now that we have multiple people... Like, if I was the only person with the challenge mode weapon, I don't, I don't really care. I didn't want it prior to this point. But now that multiple people that we play with have hell, I'm like... It does save a lot of time. I mean, I can see when we do the quests, you know, we're saving upwards of, like... What would you say? Three minutes and just the anniversary quest? Like, it does add up. Ironically, I don't think it actually helps that much in RT, even though you can use it in RT. I think just due to the fact that, like... You have to build meter, and then you waste time building meter. I guess if you pair it with, like, a PV create, it doesn't matter. I find that kind of funny. So for RT, I, I don't care about it at all, but for the tower quests, it's nice. But at the same time, like outside of an event quest, how likely am I to run tower on my own? Pretty unlikely. I don't like a lot of the uh, core tower quests. Uh, buffs are wearing off, rebuff time. I am so shocked that didn't kill me. I'll take it though. Yeah, like, I think it's really dumb. Like, I, for example, I took the Sky Hugh cast to like PW4 and I was like, how, how much damage does he do in PW4 to just do like the basic resets? And I'm like, this character damage is dumb. It's like, Chad was like, I, I don't remember how much of that has been streamed, but my initial reaction was like, what the heck is this? Why is he able to beat this? So stupid. I was thinking you needed like all these spirit items to kill him quickly, and I'm like, no. No, I just hard bully Ilgil. Just like basic S Red Blade. So, so stupid. Doing like six or seven hits to kill him. Not even that many. Like, what, what a character. So if anything, the only thing I really learned during the event is Hugh Cast Broken. That's that's all I learned. You see enough hit to have normal IV special. Yeah. I mean you have to think about it too, like I tried it with like the 60 hit vices, so like hitting that Ilgil is not a problem with that. So I was like, oh. Uh I kill most of these things way faster than if I played Ranger. And I don't have to waste time buffing. And I can freeze them. The only downside is if they hit you with the gel in, that does get annoying, getting the soul atomizer that if I'm too close. Yeah, but just the fact that he beats it by so much means he actually gets through the high defense in single player, which is really dumb. I'm like, wait a minute. He hasn't even attained his final form yet. Yeah, I think by about... Oop, somebody died. Rip. We'll reset in a second. It's greed for XP. Greed is real. Ah, oh, I'm out. <laughs> Rip me. Yeah, I, I think, for example, like... Things that make the character a lot better is the Hugh Cast was the S parts. That S parts is like obviously not going to be used by the time you hit 180, but like the difference of getting that 15 accuracy is whatever. <laughs> it's like it's like oh oh you're not hitting any normals followed by oh you hit every normal it's over.
quickly saying he's missing his main gear. It's okay, you're Hugh Cast. You can do whatever you want. been doing his Vulcan spam. Hell yeah. Listen, that's the Hugh cast life right there. He is like 80% Vulcan and you can't tell me otherwise. <laughs> With like, I'm like, I'm like, you wait, you use things other than Vulcan and uh, 13? <laughs> Are there other weapons? I don't even think he needs them. Like I'm doing TTF and I'm like, wait, I just, I just special, special, special and it kills the dragon in solo play or it lifts off. I don't even like need Dark Flow. Other characters, like Hugh Newell, it feels like a requirement to enjoy the game. I'm like, oh, there's like a missing piece. Hugh Cast is like, oh, you know what? I could just win harder if I feel like it. <laughs> That's what the difference is. <laughs> just like, oh. I mean, I guess if he's doing episode two, it's good to have. But if he's doing episode one, I'm like, I don't even need it. He just does so much damage already. Like, I'm not even sure if it saves me time in solo play, unless I get the glitch on Dragon, to be honest. Because, uh, Vulcan kind of busted. Yeah, he's just kind of bonkers. I think the only thing holding me back in TTF, and this is the- this is where I would rank it either third or fourth in terms of the challenge mode items. So after I get, like, the equivalency of Hell Needle, right, and, uh, Demon Mech Gun, I think Solar Handgun would be up there, because I play so many characters without debuffs that would benefit from it in solo play. Like if I'm if I'm bored for like an hour during my lunch break and nobody's around, I'll do like four or five TTFs. And then I'm like, damn, Pulse is just so annoying and it's like easy easily half of the run, because I don't have a debuff on like a Hugh Cast or like a Ramar or the Rock Seal or the Raw Cast. And I'm like, damn, everything is so fast up until that point, and it just comes to a dead, dead halt. But, oops, what's the lore? That should be interesting. I definitely think some characters will benefit more heavily from me having the challenge weapons. Like, I feel like my Ramar has stagnated in power, where I feel like he's, like, totally outclassed right now by my Hugh cast, like, no question. But, like, if I get the challenge mode weapons, I think that opinion will start to flip. Like, if I give him those options to just be able to demon mech gun something out of existence, or give him abilities to shut things down with arrest or whatever, I think it could be interesting. Because I know Ramar was also kind of a struggle for me, because I had, like, not even, like, bad gear. I had decent gear. But it's like I didn't have the I didn't have the right gear for some of the things, and he need, I think he needs a challenge mode thing to complete him. Just like when I got the the virus armor, that that was like a light switch. I was like, wait a minute, now this makes sense. Red ring and virus armor. I, now I don't care about his defense anymore. Those kinds of things. I'm like, oh, that feels much better. And like ideally, you know, if I get like a crazy L and K combat with like something like A Beast, I would do it for solo cave runs, right? Potentially. I don't think there's a lot I would want to hunt in caves at the moment, but in theory, if I wanted to get like my Shure in with hit percentage or something for a strong design, I could go for it. I've seen how much damage it can do to things like Nano Dragon and Lily. I know that thing is just the point and click adventure and everything dies. There we go. People's levels are starting to go up. Accuracy's going up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say no to this wave real quick. <laughs> There we go. Gelling so I don't die randomly. 
That Dwarfon did not care where I was. Holy, stop critting me. I'm so dead. Oh, I didn't die. You know what? That's good. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. I deserve to die there. Oh, well. Right, chat? I mean, let's go back to business as usual. It, listen, if they don't want to punish me for hitting Gapoe instead of Resta, which is like the slowest spell I could have hit, that's their fault. That's not my fault. Oh, rip Hellcleave. Alright, let's leave for Hellcleave. Okay, quick time check. Now that we're kind of in the low 50s, has the clock exceeded our levels yet, or are we still on par? Let's find out in real time. Ooh, clock is just starting to get a little bit ahead there. Okay. So, I'm wondering if it's going to be like 2 hours on the dot, or like 2 hours 10 minutes. We don't have that much more to go in terms of levels. We're mostly just getting killed and <laughs> forcing resets. I'll be like, live team, live. Oops, my bad. Yeah, I, I mean, like, so far, my, my takeaway during the event is, uh, you cast Broken, but he still needs some items to get going, but he is very good. Yeah, it, the, I think the best framing for it, I don't remember who told me this, but the best framing for it was, it's almost like Qcast is always playing with Shifta, and it is true. It really does feel like he's using, like, Shift to 20 for no reason. Like, it, it feels like- it, he just has that inbuilt buff, and then he's just even better in multiplayer, as long as you have hit percentage. So just pretend he's a character that, it, like, imagine if Humar had level 20 Shifta, <laughs> something like that. I think- I don't think it's, like, that far off, to be honest with you. You're like, oh, wait, I could do damage. GG. Yeah, we saw he was able to equip Excalibur at, like, a hilariously low level. So when you have the gear, he's able to kind of crunch through. He does have the dis disadvantage of being a hunter, but at the same time, it's like... Hmm. When you're with a strong party, and you get to play Disco Brain Man, you're like, oh... My favorite minigame. How many Disco Raymans can I use until I die? I mean, I think chat has seen a couple times where, like, we legit kill Ball Op in, like, four hits or less because Qcast is just that strong in multiplayer. Like, I barely, I barely have to hit it with the fourth hit and he's dead when there's multiple Qcast. It's, like, so dumb. Because you have to think of it this way. If he's able to do, and he can do very easily, 1500 plus damage per Disco Brave Man hit, and he hits five times, the boss only is 20,000 health. So just to put it in perspective, two Hugh casts, the thing is almost dead instantly. Oh, nice Platinum Badge. Yeah, it's like actually kind of insane. So I feel like it's not just people saying like, you know, Hugh cast is the meta, and like, oh, I'm going to blindly follow the meta. It's just... He is legitimately so broken that it's like, with 13 charge Vulcans and just like a little bit of assistance for falls if you're looking to do TTF, he just honestly, he just kind of takes over the game. I don't know if I like him in RT over like Rawcast, because I think like, uh, RT really benefits from characters that can hit Skywards multiple times. So, like, he would do okay on, like, one swing at Gal Griffin, but trying not to get hit by Gal Griffin that whole time is definitely a higher skill floor than I would say most players would probably be willing to do. Compared to, like, Cannon Rouge, where you're like, big gun, big gun go boom, and you just kill the boss before it even gets to do anything. I mean, we've seen what has happened in RT when there's a three rock ass party. It's hilariously stupid. Sometimes the boss doesn't even get, like, two tornadoes out and it's dead. It, it never even touches the ground. It's just legit dead in the air because everybody's hitting it for like 3k. 
Though sometimes, you know, there are some areas that will benefit from the AoE, and even though they technically do less damage, is what it is. Yeah, I still haven't hit his cap ATP. Just, to me, completely bonkers. Yeah, I, I'm also not gonna lie, I'm still not impressed with Uni World. I was trying to play with her, and I'm just like, oh. she's strong-ish in the single player. I still don't consider her a strong character. She has a lot of problems that I think hold her back from being like truly good. And a lot of that has to stem with her awful, awful stat growth on level up. She's another character that feels super terrible. With it. I think she actually feels worse than you cast with, uh, without the right items. Like, if you don't have, like, triple heavenly arm or, like, double adept, that character legit feels useless. Like, it is so sad how bad it feels. The fact that Hugh cast has like higher accuracy than her at the low levels is like is all you need to know. Her 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 growth is so bad. You're like, oh, I could play a Hugh cast that has like 180 more ATP, or I could play the Huna roll with one less accuracy. You're like, wait, what? Like, wait, where's the trade-off? Where, where's the part where there's a benefit? <laughs> I don't I'm missing it? Question mark? Uh no, Chris keeps dying. I'm gonna go a little further. I'm gonna say there's some greedy hits going on. But we'll keep going. I'm getting slightly tankier, which is good. Get some healing in. Oh, I got crit. That sucks. Man, are they really gonna have to make me put another Heavenly so I don't die to that? I only have one on, right? Yeah. That's annoying. I'm like, don't make me HP material this character. Give it crits. I'm like, fine, I'll put on another Heavenly. Are you happy, game? Yeah. But I, I think overall it's just, you know, I enjoy the raw cast because I feel like his accuracy loss is not that big of a deal compared to raw Casile. I think the ATP is better for the most part. Obviously there's some exceptions if we're looking to use Hell. But if I'm just doing like episode 2 boss rush or like episode 1, there's enemies with really high defense that I feel like she just legit can't even damage without Shifta. It's so bad. Like, when I'm fighting Falls, I'm like, oh my gosh, if I didn't have this, like, 30 or 40 Dark Heaven Striker, she is just not hurting that boss. I'm like, oh boy, I hit Falls for 180. That's it. And that's with, like, a sacrifice. Like, that is not good. Alright, so we're waiting on Chris. There we go. He's almost 80. Oh, who's not near the counter? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I mean, and then we saw there's like a lot of shortcomings with Humar. Humar, Humar got the short end of the stick. The fact that his uh, debuff doesn't reach Olga Flow blows my mind. I can't believe they designed a boss he can't do anything about. He has no way to buff his debuff range, so he can't use, like, his only benefit on the boss. It's like, why? Why would they do this? Uh, who didn't go in yet? Hello? getting money or something. I was gonna say, I recommend just withdrawing like half a mil. Could probably not be out. 
combo. There we go. We got there eventually. Alright, let me stand over here. Let me heal. Alright, hopefully I should not die anymore. It is stupid stray hits. I say as I take damage from something. Um, I'm gonna be honest with- I mean, they recommend it. I have- I never picked humor. I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't even make humor until... Vinia. And even then, that was my... Ninth character? So I- I kinda already knew I didn't want to play as a humor. But then I decided, you know what? Let's make one of every character. So that's what my first 12 character slots are about. And then I'm like, oh, some of these characters were a mistake. Looks at humor. <laughs> just like, um... Like, I don't know about that. Meanwhile, Ramar, pew, Ramar will pew pew lasering everything. Not caring about the world at all. I just level up. Horses are super easy to level. And then most parties, because there are so many casts, will naturally form around you if you play a force. So if you're ever wondering why you're not able to get into games, I pretty much dare you to just play a force and you'll be like, yeah, you're getting in games instantly. There's like a couple exceptions to the rule, but not many. Secret buff to horses. <laughs> the ratio of force to cast is ridiculous. I think at this beginning area, I'm just gonna actually add up. I have enough HP. Yeah, it's kind of like you use a shotgun for the first time as Ranger, and you're like, wow, this character is just better. It's like, wait, he just has so much more room control already. And like, eventually you'll get like 13 to help with some room control. Control, don't get me wrong, but it's like e even early on in PSO, you're like, hmm, some of these weapons don't feel all that balanced. Hmm. I was hoping with enough adips I would have enough raw defense, but not really. When I go to the next area, I'll put on the extra HP. I think it's more beneficial for me to not burn out TP here. Also, I technically don't have any tri fluids, so this should be interesting. I still haven't really used the Sphere Brands. I don't know if I do. I still don't know if I do. I don't like the weapon, is the problem. Like, even if it one shots, it's just really slow projectiles. I've just never been a fan of it. I tried it out, like, I don't know, two and a half years ago, and I was like, I could see where I would use it on, like, Bolt Up, for example, or, like, big things that don't move, but, like, every other boss, I'm like, I rather Ganon Rouge or Excalibur. Like, there's a couple, like, now we don't even need to do Sinnohs, so I'm like, one of the main reasons I was considering getting it was just to one-shot the Sinnoh room and uh, GTF, and I'm like, I don't have to do that anymore. Yeah, but, like, you don't have to fight them anymore. So I'm like, I, I don't... If I don't have to, I'm not going to. Why would I kill Sinnohs at this point? Yeah, and because it has the slow shot, it's like, I just can't use it in certain scenarios. Like, it was probably... Before I got, like, the 50-hit charge arm, I ended up having that, funny enough. First. I'm pretty sure I had that before the charge arm. And then I... Then I got help with getting the 50-hit charge arm, and things kind of balanced out from there. But, like, honestly? I don't know. I think it makes sense for, like... Characters with freeze traps? Maybe? To stop them from moving? So, like, if I play more raw cast, for example, I'd probably be more inclined to do it. But since, like, early on I'm playing, like, Ramarl and Ramar, I'm like... I don't really want that weapon on them, to be honest.
like I'll, I'll give an example i would want it but, oh press that again i would want to make sure that it's on like my rock seal because she has a damage issue but like aside from that i don't know Yeah, kind of like what Murphy is saying. Like, in the same scenarios, I'm like, oh, I could just have a demon mech gun, which doesn't cost as much. I'm like, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if the cost justifies. Like, that. that's more of a I'm done with the game thing. Like, when, when I have all my challenge mode weapons out of the way, I would consider it. Oh, rip, somebody died. I know, I should probably leave. Attack it and murder by Dorfons out here. Because, I mean, like, it's important to be able to three-hit combo, so, like, if that enables a three-hit combo, that would, that would be a big time save. But at the same time, it's, like, trying to do that without having, like, consistent freeze access. Like... I'm gonna have to start buying tri fluids because we're we're backing a little too much. That's throwing off my tempo for levels. Go get some tri fluids. Tri fluid time. Got my monomates. I don't care about them. Okay, that should suffice. Yeah. So brand launch this F2 would be just except when he's brand launcher if that enables couple kill. Yeah, so like again, like the big thing it would where I would see it being used, like my only use case would be if I still had to send O farm, which is no longer a thing, or Bob. Right? Because then, like, okay, because I don't have, like, that super crazy raw damage that, like, a Hugh cast has at it. Oops, we're missing somebody. something that's a here we go. Oh there we go. Okay. Yeah, but it's kinda like I really want a solo seabed. <laughs> Being honest with that either. I'm like uh, I had enough. Also I got confused by somebody coming over here. Also, wait, what? Wait, you you solo seabed, but you don't have hunter items? What idea are you playing that you don't have hunter items? Wait, now I'm confused. Shouldn't all of them have given you something by now? Yeah, but blue has like two hunter items there. Have you not gotten like Gun Chang or Zamba? I'm like, wait a minute. Hmm. Investigation mode activate. Yeah, so far I haven't seen a soul banish drop. I think I got one like a long time ago, but it, it had zero hit. I'd like to see one this year at some point. Podcast with HSS on 100% brand still doesn't come to multiplayer brands with 30 shift to. <laughs> I was gonna say, meanwhile, uh. Meanwhile, Hugh Cast is like, hold on, let me solve that Baran's problem you have there, real quick. Yeah, I imagine they would try to try to freeze kill. Ouch. Be a 
alone, random enemies. Back to Kafoe spam. I think since the changes, I, I was originally interested in spearing. I think I talked about it before the event, but then, like, it got rid of the thing I'd use it for spearing on, so I don't know what I would need it for. I mean, I mostly do boss rush, but, like, is there something I would brands in a boss rush at this point, in, like, episode 2? That I would do that over a hell needle? Loaded. Yeah, like, I would see a Dark Flow. Dark Flow x makes sense to me. Like, I have a 30 hit x -Cal. I could technically pump it up. I don't know what to pump it up in. I guess in theory it could be A-Beast if I just really wanted to delete the word boss. You don't really play episode one with Hunter. Oh, for Hugh Cast, it's easy. I love doing TTF with him. With me, everything dies. Oh, Ranger. <laughs> um, kind of. I don't like doing Ramar in some areas in episode one. I liked him more when it was like. Solo boss kills. But I don't necessarily care about traps, I just care about having enough base damage. At the same time I don't I don't super enjoy him in mind. Like, meanwhile, like, I'm more inclined to take, like, something like a Ramar to potentially see better tower, for sure, to take advantage of, like, Demon in Hell. But at the same time, it's like, if I have that, do I need to Baran? <laughs> yeah, I'm like... I'm probably gonna demon needle them if anything. I'd be like, huh, Del Beater goes splat. <laughs> Just be like, whatever. It tried. It died. And I think I said before, I actually really like Hunter in episode 4. I I've been growing to like it more now that I play QCast more. I liked QCastiel on the surface, since I'm able to land like Paralysis on Dwarfon, but for like underground play. I've actually really been liking QCAS there. Like, his ability to just delete everything there is hilarious. The only thing he can't do is the boss. <laughs> It'll be like, somebody else needs to damage loot the boss, but if I'm not doing a boss run, it's like, okay. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, uh, damn. I, I caught... See, what I don't like about PSO sometimes is the dots appeared on the screen, but the graphic didn't, so I didn't look at the dots on the minimap, and then I got hit by an enemy that spawned in without any graphic. It just spawned in, like, already on top of me. Thank you, game. Please load the graphic. I don't want to just look at the minimap all day. So sad. Like, I'm like, oh, I have time to cast one more Gaboey, and then I'll just, uh... I'll just heal afterwards. It's like, no, they, they already spawned in. <laughs> they, just didn't, they didn't register until way after post-charge, and then they stomped you. So sad. Yeah, and then I was like, I started going for Snow Queen, but then I just never found a Frozen Shooter that it 
that would kind of work for it, so it kind of made me give up on Ramar. Because it's like, how many millions of times have I done forest at this point? I'm like, uh, kind of done grinding forest for a bit. I would love to be able to do the piercing shot and test it out a bit more, but whatever. I just says three more runs and then I'm broke. Did you just want money? Drop you money. Got like three Bazil at the bank. Hopefully I don't just get clipped out by Dorfon. I think the problem too... Let me actually unequip this. Should be good now. Now I should be able to heal in time with Resta. When is this song playing Tales of Destiny 2? This is from Tales of Destiny 1. Did a face. Oh, we just heard this a moment ago. I like the song a lot in Tales of Destiny 1. It's okay in 2. Sounds like a sped up version of it. I need to fix something that's gonna drive me wild. Need Resta to be on my other button. My rap is. Almost 179. Close to 80. though, I'm noticing my TP drain so fast. Also, it's a little scary to not have my shortcut for items there. That's one of the things I need to fix. And when I get a chance, I'm gonna do it like right here. signed it in time. There we go. That's one of the things that was bothering me. I didn't have quick access to fluids. So as my levels start to slow down, I'm going to start running out of TP. So that's why I had to buy fluids in the previous run. Amongst other reasons. <clears throat> so hopefully here with this extra defense, I will stop the, I will stop myself from being crit killed. Downside is it's, it's going to cost me fluid. It'll make me sad, but whatever. Trade off of not having uh, HP materials. I'm not gonna lie, I'm listening to these remixes of Tales of Destiny 1 and Tales of Destiny 2. I'm not feeling them. 
The originals were much better. And I'm gonna put the I'm not impressed face on. Like, hmm. That's fine. Not killed instantly, that's all that matters. Keep up time. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Okay, I just gotta move slightly off center, and then maybe that's what the secret is. And survive the double door bomb. Maybe there were cameo battles I didn't do in Tales Destiny. Oh, unless this is like literally Tales of Destiny 2 versus Tales of Eternia. That would also explain why I don't recognize some of the songs. I wonder if this is the actual legit sequel. Because I'm like, I don't remember this playing in Eternia. Which is labeled Tales of Destiny 2, for those that don't know. Well, wrong Tales of Destiny 2. <laughs> it's the real Tales of Destiny 2. Ooh, that almost killed me instantly. Thankfully, we've been leveling. Star, that's a dumb way to die. Yeah, that's kind of the downside. Those things spawning might do just enough to kill me against Dorfon, so I just gotta keep leveling to get out of that kill range. You see how the graphics were very delayed there? Like, the, like he just started in his charging laser shot animation. He didn't bother appearing on my screen until that point. His dot appeared though, but he did not. There we go, there's the level up. Extra defense is welcome. Get me out of kill range. Okay, that's fine. It's not a double hit, so don't die there. There we go. Serious concentration for a moment. There we go. Congrats on hitting level 80. There we go. I didn't instantly die to dwarf on. That's all that matters. I just had to move out of the center. It's fine. He can give me mag blast all he wants. I think we're good now. Micho has reached level 200. Nice. Stay around here ish. Could have been bad. Spam the heal button here. Ass are hitting me is the worst. Aw, oh, rip. But he just died. Alright, let's finish this wave. And let's pop in. Okay. Alright, let's give Kaiser some money. Yeah, it's definitely hard with uh, that many casts. Without another person dedicated healing, be a little rough. For the forest, I don't really care. I just <laughs> just spamming fireball and resta. If Chris would like to swap out a character, that's up to Chris. The Kaiser so funny. I was gonna say, if you want, you could just bring in a forest and spam fireball. Make everything go pew pew. But it's up to you. Uh, I don't need anything there. Rip all the extra money that I had earlier. Did it hold you over? Chris 
a moment or so. Order inventory. Yeah, so I think for the requirements for this, going back to something we talked about earlier. Surprise cough killed me. Oh, my God. Sorry to hear that. But I think what we were talking about earlier. So I think this quest has, like, a higher material requirement than the other one. Like, the other one, you just need a hell weapon, right? This one, I think, like, if you don't have heavenly HP or don't use um, HP material plus, like, half your powers and stuff like that, this can also be a little rough. I think we're doing fine so far, but it's definitely like there are certain comps that will do it better. Like obviously if like all four of us are forced, it's like super easy. Or if it's like three force, one ranger, I think is the ideal format. But like the fact that one force can basically almost solo carry the DPS minus like Dwarfon and Astark, kind of silly. So we're going to emulate what happens if you bring in another force. Because I think time-wise we were basically on par with each other. So definitely I would not recommend this quest without a force while leveling people. It's definitely very brutal. Just from the standpoint where you have like this big dependency on buffs. But man oh man, when you can stack the Chloe, save so much time. And they're just gonna blat blat everything else out of existence. And I imagine we'll probably be done in about 20 minutes? As long as we don't die again. I think it is not quite right with my control, but that's fine. I'll figure it out later. Just like, I'm trying to use the Razan, but it's like a different button now for some reason. I'm not sure why that happened. I wonder if when I was clicking out doing music, if it overwrote something. A bit unfortunate. At least I still have access to the control panel, because I do need that for fluids. Yeah, because honestly, there comes a point where, like, Fire level forces do help to an extent, but you're gonna hit the same kind of roadblock. Like, you might kill them like a fireball or two faster, but it's not as, like, game warping as, like, doing CCC with, uh, you know, hell shot versus somebody with just a ray gun. Like, the difference of 100 levels is half by MST. Like, I'm only 400 MST behind, so for the most part, that's gonna translate to one or two spells more to kill. Like, Chris was the lower level for it, but... I think we're fine. I'm trying to see if we could get a damage number stack. Here. <laughs> They're dying so fast, I can't tell. Like, my 36 to 50. So we would be doing... A little... more. Where we had some more levels. But I don't know if it's like a game changing amount for me. I definitely don't want to be in the center. Chris can stay in the center since he's power level. I just can't afford to get double hit. Yeah, he's doing about 200 more damage on the Buddhas. But like at the same time, the Buddha dies in roughly the same. Like, I think it's just one more fireball. I have to cast one more fireball. It's not like a big difference. If anything, it shows you how uh, warped and whack uh, enemy resists are. They are not very kind to the Force in Ultimate. There's definitely a big power difference here, but on Ultimate, it's like barely noticeable.
Our damage compared to our MST is just so low, comparatively. They'll be like, oh right, I gained 10 MST. How much more damage am I doing? Two. Like, oh. Don't they have like 2,000 health? I know. Two more damage. Like, listen, the game doesn't want you to do damage. Not even two more damage, one more damage. Yeah. Depends on what you're hitting. If they're weak to it, it's two. If they're neutral, it's one. Just like, after a while, the damage just comes to a crawl. So sad. Yeah, with two forces, it's easier to shut down the two elements. That comprise most waves, where there's usually something that can't be killed with fire, and it's usually killed by ice. In that scenario, we had to use lightning, but like Astarks, the Zabudas, potentially just spam some ice. Um, I mean, Ranger is always going to be useful with demons, so, like, the same kind of thing applies. Like, I think what would be more run warping and how long this run takes is if you have, like, multiple characters that are able to easily land Demon Mech Gun. Especially when we get to, like, the Gurdabulu, well, if we get to the Gurdabulu part of the run, because then it's just, like, the amount of time save is, like, legit... Are you killing Gurdabulu in 6 seconds, or are you killing it in like a minute and 10 seconds by spamming grants or something? So I definitely think I would agree that if there's at least one ranger, it solves a lot of problems. So we're not doing it with like the most optimal comp ever, but... like the longest banner call out. I'm gonna say feeling some favoritism to the mods. I don't remember getting a shout out when I hit 200. <laughs> All right, chat. I'm gonna call him out. I'll call him out on that. I didn't get a congrats when I hit 200. Get out of here. All right, chat. I can get salty about that if I want to. Uh-oh. Wait, did somebody... Oh, did somebody die in that other room? Oops. I think so. That is unfortunate. Damn, we just made progress. Yeah, so every time that happens, we lose a lot of money. But, but they did get a banner. Unless they, they were supposed to get two banners, if that's what they meant. Because we commented earlier. Because it was like Micho like, hit level 200, then they did a custom shout out, and then they did a second custom shout out. Unless they leveled two different people to 200, then maybe. But yeah. I was gonna say rewind the VOD. <laughs> it, that definitely happened, but if there was a second character, then I would agree. I got robbed. I wasn't reading to see if it was for a second character or not. I just caught the tail end of that message. Let's sort. Oh, there was this, something about the second? Okay, that makes more sense. I got in the message of the, you didn't receive the banner, and I'm like, wait, what? Hmm. 
button. Get back to a steady rhythm with this quest. Yeah, it's a shame that we don't have any worthwhile hunts because we don't have a blue ID. Because from the standpoint of the hunts themselves, like, Massive Attack B, I usually warm up to into this quest. Like, normally for the... Uh, about this level. If you go back and watch how we level the other people, we normally do at least some B before we come here. And then for, like, the final 10 levels, or maybe, for like, 12 levels, we try to just do it in here. Just because it does take a little bit to get here, so I'm hoping nobody gets one shot here. See where it goes. I found that standing at the northern end of the arena removed that, so I'm already pretty sure I will always get to the end now. I was just too dead center in the arena, so I was getting double hit by the invisible dwarf ones, which was kind of not fair, but whatever. So I've learned to just adjust by being higher up, and I think so far that worked. And also unequipping magical beasts. That way I can uh, cast Resta faster so it doesn't get interrupted. I think also helped. You know what? This is bothering me. Let's do this. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> when I'm playing the character more seriously, I'll fix their techniques. But I'm like, uh, I don't need Gazond in this quest at all. I don't want to accidentally use it. I needed it earlier because I didn't have Razan, but now that I have Razan, I don't need Razan. Reapply some buffs because I'm going to recover anyway. Okay. I'm going to move upwards. Oops, got bodied. Now I should be good here. There we go. Now we got a nice little place to just spam. Let's see, uh, what would be next on the agenda? I guess that'll be it after this, it is getting kind of late. Tomorrow morning, we'll see about power leveling. I'll see where Marco's character is. If it's a fresh character, I'll have a talk with him. If it's already partially leveled, that's not too bad, I could probably fit that in. Ooh, that good Kapoe stop there. So I think I'm a little close. There we go. I want to be at the very top end of this. There we go. Much better. We should level up without me needing to touch my TP. As long as I keep spamming the Bowie here, I should be good. Ouch. So now if the Astar hits me, I shouldn't die, because 492 is more than I need. This is much better. There we go. Yeah, like you can see like when we get the quest going and we have like two forces equivalency, we're getting a little above 200 XP. Now it's slightly unfair as so we have a higher level force, but... The same kind of effect happens when you have three forces. <laughs> it's not it's not too different. So we're playing like the not crazy optimal one. We're just power leveling basically hunters. And I took a fresh character. He's strong enough that he carried all the way to very hard. He fell off a little bit in damage. So it's like I would love to get like another 100 MST or so. We're slowly getting up there. But, like, the gap between my damage and Chris's is not super huge at the moment. Like, I'm under... I'm within 400 MST. I think it's more, like, for safety reasons, I'm not using Magical Piece. Which is where, like, a lot of that damage number difference comes in. In fact, let me use Magical Piece briefly, just to compare. If we could find one enemy that we hit the same. I think we are saying it was, like, 35 to 50. Where we're comparing against that one enemy type. I just want to see. So now, now it's only 44 to 50. Like, the damage difference isn't even that much. Just more whether or not I can magical piece, which I think I can now. 
Yeah, there we go. Stay towards the top, we're all good. So, like, I've, I've almost caught up to his damage. <laughs> somehow. <laughs> Very silly. There we go. See, this is where the Hue Cast will start to really shine. We have a lot of small groups and kind of annoying formations. And this is like Diska or like Master Raven or just like Vulcan territory where they could just point and shoot and whatever they're looking at is just hosed. Oh, you thought you could teleport? I don't think so. Nice, another level up. It's actually huge. So now we'll start to get our money back. The XP per second will go down in this area because of the fact that we have to keep moving around. But even with us moving around, XP's going pretty quick. It'll spike back up as we get to the final room. If we can manage to get to the final room of the run, it does make a big difference. We gotta get moving with the quest. Let's clear these things. There we go. Hello, Pyro Goron. Now that is big damage. So mostly here, the, the only scary part left in the quest is Gurtabulu. As long as you just don't get Gurtabulu, it should be easy. See, like, the power of Stack of Poe kills easily, like, 60% of the waves. Hello, Goron Detonator. So sad. Nice level up. See, on very hard mode, that's like 1 to 2 damage every level up. Depending on the enemy. Ultimate, you just have it. it feels terrible. So now I'm above 500 HP. Oh, Mercy double A. Nice. Now perish. Probably two more quests should level up. Be full clear. We're not super far off. We could get to this point. This is where the XP starts to pick back up. Not quite as insane as later. Also, this is also the point of the quest where I should switch to Rip Bowie Merge and actually unequip Magical Piece because it's too slow. The reason I want to do that is because most enemies just are too far away to Kaboe stack. And then on top of that, it just constantly makes you rotate around the arena. So even if you do go ahead to the next spawn where you could hit them, the next spawn after that just invalidates it. It's just easier to rip away. Kind of like how there's all those things near the Goron Detonator. It's gonna rip away them. So this is the first time in the whole quest I've had to actually change something. We're here though, just like I can nuke the uh, four zoos. So I want to take grants not only to hit the zoo, but to uh, deal with Gurtabulu. Probably not spooky crappies, so I should probably build them, but well, it's fine. That grant should almost kill. 
Francis kill. Uh, I'll eat a couple die fluids. Put a Kofoe down just to make sure that if they did reach us, that they come slower towards us. Oh boy, I'm in a fun little journey towards Gertabulu. Alright, so even without demons here, it's not too terrible. I'm gonna use Rifoe here to stunlock the Zeus and also stunlock the Goron Detonators. Just easy kills and just resolve the finish. I'm gonna look out for the Gertabulu behind us. Now, the levels make a bigger difference on grants. That I'm not going to lie about. That that actually saves a lot of time. But otherwise, like, before we... Eh, still killing, like, the same number of hit. My damage has mostly caught up. There we go. Nice level up. I'm a little safer versus Gertabulu. There's one wave where it's double Gertabulu. If you see that, just have everybody panic. Go oh, assist whoever is getting double Gertabulu, because otherwise they'll die really quickly if they get frozen. We'll keep an eye out for it. Nice. Goodbye, Gertabulu. Save up more my materials, see how it goes. I'll think about what I want to do with the character slot here. I am slightly unhappy that I did put it there in, uh, in hindsight, because I was like, what was I doing with that slot? And then I realized, oh, I was making color patterns. That does make me sad. I could technically rework him and like remodel him to a different character, and then we could just make this character again. I don't want to like delete him per se. But I'd have to wait for like a mod sec ID to fix it. Oh well. Ouch. I've been double verted we loot. Wait for me, random me always. Why, hello there, Gertabulu. I'd prefer not to go this way. That's fine. I, I guess we're going this way now. Hello there. At least I think we should get into the final room here with a bit of time to spare. Oh, no. Ooh, that was almost super bad. That uh, was almost super bad. I got frozen. <clears throat> Damn, even with Adept, I was taking that much. the final wave of this room. Oh boy. Oh boy, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Uh, I want to save solo Rocket Seal for another time. I didn't want to do it tonight. Since other people were looking to level. I have no way to cure this. Run in, run in panic circles. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> it's like I, 
I, when I'm shocked, it's over, I guess, GG. Oh, there's really another wave after this? I thought it was over. I got baited. There are so many random double Gertabulu waves. Ouch. Uh, I guess if people are around, I could level one more time. Contemplating if I want to stream the solo attempt or just do it in between things. Alright, let's. Gertabulu is annoying. Um, let's try to kill these. Damn, get a character death. So sad. Unfortunately, helping one group of Gertabulu. But I think it is over. I'm gonna finish out the room since I have TP. Yeah, that that pool of enemies is kind of evil. Damn, we were three minutes from clearing. That's so sad. Anyway, but out. Let's take a look at the in-game time. Hour 50. We're pretty close. Is it, it? The quest itself is like 20 minutes, so I was thinking it would be an hour... And at potentially an hour 20. That's not... that That's closer to my original expectation compared to the other quests. So unfortunately, we've had a, a lot of resets in this particular run, which slows it down. I guess we see the, the positive and negatives of each quest. Because if we do die, we do lose a lot of time going back to the lobby. Back to Gafoe Merge. Guess I can keep it on Magical Piece for now. Don't think I need a Heavenly. I think I'm actually gonna go for an Adept here. That way I don't have to burn my fluid. Back to Kifoe stacking. So... Yeah, like, I definitely think, you know, with the second force, it goes much faster. Third force, I think it goes incredibly fast. So we got to see a mix of one force. One force, I think, was good enough up until very hard mode. Then I think when we're in very hard mode, it's kind of hard to just solo carry because it's not possible for me to, like, heal and also be DPS. It's kind of like a split roll, and with a lot of casts, they're just gonna run out of healing during the quest without like a dedicated healer. So even something like a, a raw moral, being able to occasionally spam Ressa would be strong enough. For example, it doesn't need to be like a full full moral or whatever. Chris switched the elements up. I'm just gonna stack with magical piece. And since it's up before, damage is actually pretty close as long as I do magical piece. It's like, it does like 15% more or something. It's not like super far off. Whereas, like, if he does the other elements, he's just gonna do way more. Just because I have such a hard focus on the abilities. Better. Also, game, also game music, please. Okay, getting a look at it, yeah, this is the real Tales of Destiny 2. That would explain why I didn't recognize some of the songs. I guess I'm so used to hearing remixes of this that I didn't think about it. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, back to Kavoy. 
So I think from the standpoint of power leveling, Kooky Quest definitely superior, no question about that. I think this quest is definitely picking up as we get more levels. So I think there's not as much of, it, it's kind of like there's that initial friction going from hard mode to very hard mode, regardless if it's CCC or this quest. The difference being that I think if you're only doing this quest, it's definitely very hard without the HP materials, I would say, to survive. Somewhere around level 60, I think you get enough raw HP that it doesn't matter. So this is definitely like a good finisher quest. I prefer the final 10 levels of this compared to CCC. Where, like, I would get a stat up and it doesn't matter because my chances of helling have already basically effectively capped for the difficulty. Whereas this one, like, I'm always going to speed up the run by leveling. Similarly, because they're doing ATP versus hell for the most part, it's also going to scale super well. Level up. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. They ended up being close, but for different reasons. Some of it was just team calm. That definitely has me curious about solo CCC in particular. Like, definitely if you're doing this solo, it's also more XP. I think we've done a couple solos, not recently, but we have done it before. I could technically make another Sky New Min if I wanted just to compare the two. Haven't decided. I guess for now I'll leave him in the slot. If I get the opportunity to mod Sekadi, they don't change the drop charts as often as they used to, like three or four years ago. So I'll get an opportunity eventually. I'll probably make this character orange and then copy everything the chat did and just move him to a different slot. So effectively his identity will completely swap. <laughs> But, the, but I'll keep it without resetting the character. It will just require some patience. Yeah, it had been a while. So I have to think about if there's any other characters I want to mod sec ID in, that, in the meantime, because there are characters that are leveled. That in theory I could swap them if I want to. But honestly, I'm mostly happy with like Reem Ramar. Triple raw moral. Could in theory change the Hue New World to be something other than blue. Because I don't super enjoy her in blue run. But at the same time, it's like I'm not really going to play her in episode 1 for like caves. I don't really want to play her in mines. Like, it feels weird that if I wanted to make her like a TTF ID. That's all she'd end up really doing. Ooh. Some serious damage. Okay, so if we manage to get to the same point we were before, I should be around 76 or 77. And we might be able to clear the quest there. We lost some XP by not going to the final room. The final room itself is worth at least a level. But unfortunate. Of uh, potentially using Rifoe. Just put the Rifoe merge on now and unequip the uh, magical piece. That should be strong enough. I think technically, if I'm always on the opposite side of Chris, I might be able to get away with just Kafoe spam. Maybe? If he stays still, I might be able to do this. Let's see. By the Marissa, though. Don't hit me. Damn. I got trolled by Marissa. My bad. I 
I mean, he died to hit me. He technically won that trade. <laughs> My Gafoe hit him too late. Rip Gafoe. So sad. I got punished so hard for swapping into Magical Piece. It's so sad. I just wanted to do more damage. Oh well. I'm gonna quit Magical Piece again. Because ideally if I have the setup, then they die really quickly. The problem was, like, he jumped... Gafoe, and then I went to cast another one, and he hit me before the Gafoe could reach him because of the slower animation. It was really sad. That was like maximum punish. <laughs> it was like the worst case scenario. I guess I could have rested, but. Not one of those things. I'll chalk it up to being tired. I was going to say, I definitely did not think I was going to be doing a six-hour stream today, that's for sure. Yeah. Unfortunate. But, like, I could do the safe and boring option, which is this. I was hoping to save some time to do that. Yeah, we'll get Hellcleave as close as we can. Go through our point and click adventures. There we go. Yeah, so I think from our other experiences, if we have like two or three high level forces, We've seen it go down to like two hours, more or less. We had like a two hour, four minute record or something. All I know is that it was blown out of the way by the cookie quest, it wasn't that close. Like it, it went sub two hours so fast, it's like crazy. But in terms of just like clearing it, we want to save cookies, we burn, well, we, did, <laughs> we died a bit more than usual, I would say. But from the standpoint of doing it, we just burned some money and it's fun. If you were playing this solo, you would normally just kind of cash out at that point. So maybe we'll investigate doing solo these quests in the future. But right now, I'm not interested. I don't really want to make another Phonuman. some buffs. Reapply. Nice and simple. Also, play further up. There we go. See a small adjustment needed on my side to stay alive through the double dwarf on hits. Still getting bullied super hard. I think one other difference too is I think I was using uh, Dressplate on a couple runs, which I believe does give more defense than frame, which I'm seeing matters a bit more now. I probably should have liberated my uh, Dressplate. I did a mix of like foe or frames, but there's a couple times where I've had higher frames and swapped into the more power leveling. I remember having like celestial armors and stuff like that sitting around. And we were leveling, what was it, the uh. I guess it was the Hue cast was the last time we did stuff like that. Yeah, it's been unfortunate. There we go, there's our level up. So hopefully, this defense increase will put me out of crit range from Marissa. 
almost died, but survive. That's the important thing. Back to Bowie stacks. Yeah, so now, now our XP per second is going back to where it should be, like 200 or so. So CCC was like wavering somewhere between like 190 and 200. This seems to waver between like 220 and 210. Though like it definitely is faster. They have different requirements. It's, it's kind of interesting to compare the two in that sense. I'm not even sure how many people here are like max material or anything too, because that also matters a bit more than the other quest. The other quest we went in with like legit nothing, which is funny. Yeah, we'll probably do a blue rocket seal at some point. I don't know if it'll be tomorrow. Although honestly, with how late this stream is going, I don't know if I can promise a morning stream at this rate. I would only be getting like five hours of sleep. I don't think I want to do that to be real with you. So we might just have an evening stream again. I'll talk, talk with uh, Marco and Murphy separately. I definitely thought we would be done like 40 minutes ago. Sorry. Not on this specific run, but on like overall between the two. So, unfortunate. So getting the, to this phase is at least getting pretty consistent. I think it was mostly just like that little readjustment. Okay, so I'm gonna stay on the other side. This time, I hope I do not get interrupted before I can get started. Okay, we're good. Now I should just be able to do this. So if I had done this earlier, now the Marissa spawn and dies. That's what I want to see. Not him living by like 200 and getting his revenge punch before it hits him. Oops. Run detonator there is kind of rude. Right, so I think I still might need to unequip magical piece in case I get hit by Goron detonator. There's the Versa attacking people. Killer Gafoe just a little too slow. grouped up on the same side. That's not what I want. I will go to the other side. The intent is if we fill the room with enough Gafoes, we shouldn't have to move. One of us should always be able to hit one of the sides, and we just refoe to the other. So, like, inevitably something will come to me. I'll chip him out a little. Let the team take care of that. Nice level up. Really? The crit kill kills me? I was at full health though. That's so sad. Oh, that's not fair. I died at full health. I'm so sad, chat. Why did that kill me? I'm curious how much that did. I need a damage calculator on that Goron detonator. I'm very curious. I had 136 defense with the band too. He just went, nope. I'm gonna slap you for like 500 perish. Unfortunate. So that time it wasn't even like I had the wrong weapon equipped. I just got crit and died. <laughs> I guess in the previous time we got that far, he never crit me. Because I'm pretty sure I survived his normal strike by quite a bit. Given that Rappy doesn't one-shot me, I'm surprised he one-shot me. Either that or Rappy also has not crit me. I guess both statements could be true. To be fair though, I guess if you're being optimal with the quest, you would normally reset at the caves anyway. Just unfortunate that we were already in before I died. If we die on like the final Dorfon wave on the surface, I don't think it matters that much. That's usually what I do when resetting. I do that a lot when unsealing, for example. I don't bother full clearing the quest on lower difficulties. 
<laughs> I'm like, listen, it's inconveniencing to move. Alright. So we should be probably about nine minutes away, I think, from hitting max level for a very hard mode before we graduate to ultimate. So, funny enough, I guess with how things worked out, they ended up being very close in time. Okay. So we learned a bit more. We pushed our limits. We learned that we got punished really hard for not having... I mean, I had Adams, which is slightly defensive to versus the Gurdabulu. Because I'm worried, because Gurdabulu can still technically kill me with where I'm at. I would need, I think, possibly triple Heavenly HP to survive. I need to basically get through a freeze and then one strike from them to survive. And they do about 250. So, like, maybe now that I've leveled more, I don't die to it with double Adept. Maybe... Oh well. like flick the stick up while holding tab but it didn't do it until I flicked it down and then when I let it go to neutral then it activated the up. It was weird. Let's check the latency again. Or not latency, the uh, dead zone. <clears throat> I was toying around with it a little bit uh, prior to the stream. Like the second or third time I thought something weird happened. stand up here, we should be good to go. So at this rate, the way you can kind of view this quest is, even at high level, every room will basically equal a level. So if we can get to the room beyond the caves, I should hit 80. We are really, really close. I see the Astar, but I'm waiting on the Dorfon. I'm more scared about Dorfon and Yowie than I am the Astar swinging at Hunters. There we go. Okay, we're chipping out the Dorfon. God laser. That sucks, but that's fine. Almost done. <clears throat> Yeah, that is funny. They ended up much closer in length than I was expecting, but in some ways I thought CC was always going to be faster. It ended up being a little slower, and this one... We've done faster runs, but it ended up being slower. I guess take that as you will. I think it could be worth comparing the, the single-player clear speed. So in theory, if I really wanted to make my orange phonumen or whatever, I could, in theory, replace a character. Just thinking about, because I guess he would go in the 8th character bank if I wanted to keep the coordination going. But it feels weird just to put one force by himself. But I don't really have any other forces I want to make either. Running impasse almost. Four 
try fluids left. That should be fine. I would have preferred one more adept, so that I didn't have to use a fluid there, but it is what it is. So I'll like barely have enough to make it to the next level. I already used almost 50%. If we clear this, I should hit 80. Killing spree continues. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm gonna have to debuff the Grande there, just in case another 100 health will still result in me getting crit killed. It's, that so rarely happens when I play it. They do hit me for a lot, and I do know they do a lot when they crit, but it's like, man, I'm lucky. When I I'm gelling. I'm not messing around with them this time. That should be fun. There we go. Yeah, at some point we'll have to figure out the best way to quote-unquote level a Hue cast. I imagine it'll still probably be episode 4 unless you have hell. I think it's my takeaway. Like, they do kill a lot slower, but... I think when I had to level the Hue cast, I remembered I did a lot of B. And I just did a lot of really boring B resets. Second one after defeating Milo. leave to check the in-game time, we'll see. And I'll do a courtesy level to the end, like we did before. Or tried to do before, I should say. <laughs> Technically, they, they glitched out a quest and they were uh, waiting for the final kills. So close. Eh, I'll donate. Oh. Uh, am I gonna die because of that? I hope I have invincibility. Okay. I <laughs> just... I'm like, oh! I wasn't sure if I had stood up yet from being knocked down, because that could have killed me. There we go. Ready for that level up. I'm so close. Moment of truth. Tyrannus getting to me. Yeah, I'm feeling you there, Hellcleave. So close. Like, one more kill. There we go. I'm gonna courtesy finish this wave, and then I'm gonna leave to check to see what the end game time is. Alright, so, question. Ultimately, in going to the end with just a force and then two forces, how long did that take in the end game time? So we have hot stuff who cleared it in like an hour 39 or something like that. So they were still pretty quick. They had two hours and 26 minutes. So they were roughly comparable all the way to the end. So what made the runs, I guess, different between each other? 
definitely the requirements. I feel like if you're doing this quest with a really high level character, I think you benefit more from having a high level force in this quest than you would from necessarily having a high level ranger in CCC. The point being that like CCC, it no longer matters what your stats are for the most part, unless you have super buffs. Since you're going to be using Hell, and your accuracy to hit Hell should already cap during the run itself. So, we already saw before, we were hitting 95, 98 accuracy around level 70. So, it's not going to make a big difference there. I guess where it could make a difference if you're comparing the two, is if you did do CCC with a Force, if you did like a Force two rangers and then another character i could see maybe a higher level ranger making a big difference because then potentially two of you would commit to the atp strategy of charge arm and somebody else just hells maybe but i think ultimately i'm happy that we have most of the colors out of the wind i'm a little sad that sky is here i was gonna say if we if we want to make an affinia request the ability to move your characters around to different character slots would make me very happy. But alas, this is where we are with the character. So I think overall, Pookie saves still about, even with the super event, they save about an hour. And if the super event is not on, they save somewhere closer to an hour and a half. So that was my takeaway with what we did here. I would say from the standpoint of making sure the team hits 80. We'll do a quick quest. But I think that's about it from the standpoint of the rush to 80. We have a whole bunch of new characters that are 80. I look forward to definitely playing as the ranger. Oh, it looks like they might still be going. Oh, maybe not. So potentially I'll help them just kind of clear things up. I will probably pick a different character and put some stuff away. But I think for now, chat, I think we should prepare to say goodbye to YouTube, since I think that ends the segment of power leveling for today. So with that, chat, I guess we'll say thanks for watching, YouTube, and hope to see you again in the next part.